it's Miss Shelby. Today I am going to be a scientist. Do you want to be a scientist too? <gasps> Great, I could really use some help with my experiment today. So friends, before we get started, let's talk about what scientists do. Scientists ask questions. Today, our question is, will it sink or will it float? Okay. After a scientist asks a question, they come up with an experiment and they come up with a hypothesis. Have you ever heard that word? Let's try saying it together. Hypothesis. A hypothesis is a prediction. So let's go ahead and think for a minute, what kinds of things sink? Hmm, and what kinds of things float in water? Hmm, put on your thinking cap. Maybe think about a time you went swimming, or maybe taking a bath. Hmm, okay. Now that we've thought about that, let's go ahead and grab some items that we can use in our experiment. Okay, so today I went on a walk and collected some items and I also looked around my house for some items. So that's something if you want to try this experiment, you could go outside and look for some things or look for some things that you have in your house. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. I have this cool stick. Let's see. What else? Look at this rock. I like how flat and smooth This ball actually belongs to my cats. I borrowed it from them for this experiment. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, look at this. This came from a tree that's at the front of my house. It's very prickly. What else is in here? <gasps> a rubber duck. A pink flower. I've got another ball. This one is much harder and doesn't have any holes in it. I wonder if that will make a difference. <gasps> I have a pine cone. I have a robot. <gasps> oh, and my favorite. I have my velociraptor. Okay. I also have a container that I put water in. So we're going to drop these items into the water. We're going to decide if it sinks or floats. And then we're going to collect the information on our charts. Let's see. Hmm. Let's start with the rock. What do you think? Is the rock going to sink to the bottom or is it going to float on the top? Did you make your prediction? Here we go. The rock sunk all the way to the bottom. I'm going to write the word rock on my board. Okay. Are you ready to try another item? Hmm. Ooh, I want to try the robot. What do you think? Will the robot float or sink? <gasps> the robot is floating. Oh. I'm going to put robot on my floating list. Okay. Ooh, another one. Let's see. <gasps> Let's put this in here. What do you think? Hmm. <gasps> I'm going to call it prickle. Prickly. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, let's try one of the other balls. Let's try the one with holes in it first. Is this going to sink or float? Let's see. Oh, oh friends, look what's happening. It's sunk in partially, but it's still floating on the top. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. 
Shall we try something else? Let's take the ball that doesn't have holes. This one is harder. I wonder if that means it'll sink. Let's try it over here. Oh, right to the bottom. So we can add the balls to our list. So it looks like the ball with holes is floating and the hard ball sank to the bottom. All right, let's see. Ooh, what should we try next? How about the flower? Let's see what's going to happen to the flower. It's floating. Was that your prediction? Let's add that to our list. Shall we try the pipe cone next? Ooh, the pine cone is floating as well. Wow. I noticed that our list of things that float is longer than our list of things that have that are sinking. Hmm. I wonder if that will change. Shall we try the ducky next? we have two more items. Next, let's look at our stick. What is going to happen when I put the stick in the water? Oh my friends, that long stick is floating. Okay, my velociraptor is the last thing, so go ahead and make your prediction. Will the Velociraptor sink to the bottom like the rock or float on the top like the stick? Are you ready? Let's find out. <gasps> He's floating. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to add that back up on the top of the list. So friends, when scientists are done with their experiment, they look at their data and see what they've learned. So I'm looking at our charts and it looks like we found a lot of things that flow today. Thank you for being a scientist with me. I'll see you later.